Okay, so I decided to make a video because maybe you guys are just new to ARC or you haven't played it in a while and a lot has changed lately and I'm using the Xbox version which is why it says that I'm not signed in but basically if you have the Windows 10 version it'll come up and then you click start and then the first problem everybody runs into is if you go right here, you can't click. See, this clicks, this clicks, this clicks. They all click except join, right? Mm-hmm. Because why would we fix a game? No. We just leave it like this. But in order to join ARC, you got to come over here with your mouse off to the side. Then you click join ARC. Okay, and this will be how to get to the cluster that I like to play on, Ghost Town. For some odd reason, you use favorites on the Windows 10 version, and it's like, sometimes it'll show them, sometimes it doesn't. This last batch seemed to have messed it up again because for a while there, it was showing them all the time. So you would click up there, make sure you have... Because if you first start, you'll start with uh, official, but pull that down to PC session, and then it'll come up like that, and then you type in ghost town is what I like to play on, and that's the other thing. You hit a key, and half the time it doesn't even take the input. All right, my body's on Val. I will join Val. And now I'm gonna show you guys how a cluster works. Because believe it or not, there's still players that do not know what a cluster is, have never been on a cluster server. And as far as I remember, this is the same on uh, Steam also. So yeah, this is me. <clears throat> Actually, let me see if I got some building materials. Yes, some vaults. Stuff that I want to take over to the map that I'm at. Another cryo fridge. Some more lights. Ooh, yes. I do have doors, yes. Are these regular? Ooh, I can upgrade. Yeah, I'm just bringing stuff over to upgrade my base that I made over there. Because I do like some of the tech items. At any rate. Okay. Got my items. So. Now. You can travel. Actually. Multiple different uh, ways. You have tech transmitters which they have to be unlocked and actually let me see if I can find because we have a welcome center and I believe let me see if it's near an obelisk because you can go up to the obbies and you can click on them and it's basically it all ends up being the same you can even use the drops but let me see. Yeah, I don't... Hmm. I don't see one around an obelisk. But anyway, if you go into a drop or you go up to the obelisk, it's all pretty much the same. Once you do enough uh, of the boss fights you'll be able to unlock the tech items. However, if you haven't done boss fights and you see one of these, you won't be able to use it until you unlock um, that particular engram, which you have to do boss fights for, which clusters come in handy because there's different bosses that unlock different things. But say you're going up to an obelisk or a drop and then you just click travel to another server 
and this is where you get into the cluster as you can see we have every single map but we also have extra ones well there is the event which is for um, ferrymen and then we have a PvP and then the new map and the reason it's locked for one the PvP is so you would have to be a member of the cl uh, cluster and the ferryman one is for people that have donated to the cluster and this one is locked because it's brand new and they well the owners just want us players from this cluster to use it because you know new map everybody hops on so you would click whatever map you want to go to then you click join with survivor and I have to put in the password and then you go into the cluster now if you're bringing animals along you can put them in the cryopods if you can use them or have them and you can take them over this is my base when you get to the other end to the map that you're going to you want to click on one of these bits and click spawn survivor Every so and so often I have that checked and it messes up and it just spawns me randomly somewhere. And so usually I even keep an animal on my hot bar in these pods. Okay, let everything load in. Wow. Okay, here we go. Now, actually, where is he? Here's, are you healed yet? Yes, you are. Let me show you how to do it off of a drop and how to transfer animals. Wow. All right. Now you see why I'm bringing tech gates over here, because a bread quicker bats than my old bat and it's just too quick oh let's see what uh, I guess it did boost it a little but all right there's a drop uh, but it's not down yet the drop has to be down and you can't get the items out of it I guess I'll go to the green obby. Now this is the new map, so the obby looks a little bit different. But, you know, if you played Ark, you know what an obby looks like. Let me get over here. And like I said, the easiest way to transfer animals is to just put them in pods. And you know what? I'm not even sure if you can use a transmitter. I don't remember that because I want to say by the time we get a transmitter we already have so much unlocked that we have tech uh, unlocked and we have the cryopods plus on our cluster when the drops function properly you can get them out of drops so but say you're in the cluster and you just started you don't have anything unlocked you can travel to another server and there should be a upload. Hmm. I don't know, maybe they have that disabled. Oh, see? You would click the animal and then upload it. So click and then let me make sure when you upload an animal, take the saddle and everything out of it because it will be dropped. So I would come up here, click the creature, click upload. 
Are you sure you want to upload? Yes, I am. Then you click here, travel to another server. And I want to go to one of the normal maps. Okay. Yeah, it should work the same. <clears throat> I haven't done this in a while. But I've been playing ARC for so long that it's normal to me. And, and I totally forgot all the hardships we had when we first started transferring without the cryopods. This would be my base. But if you don't, if you haven't already been there, you just pick a random spot and then you have to run to the obby. Okay. So, I am now... At my base, and to get my animal back, I just come over here. And click creatures, click on him, and download. There he is. So you see it's very simple to transfer with a creature. And then you want to put the saddle and everything back on them. Let me see. Because I wanted some items out of here. Oh, and I think he's following me now. Yep. So be careful. When they come out for security, I suppose, they are set to follow you. Now, the very easiest way to travel with a dino is stick them in the pod. The only thing that dropped was the meat that was in it. So you don't really have to check because the saddle will stay on. Then you go up to it, you go travel to another server, just like I did before. And then... This is the easiest way to travel. You pick a bed. You go there, and if the game decides to spawn you somewhere randomly, it doesn't matter, because you have a dino in your pocket. And you just throw it out like that, and the animal's there. Now, you see how it kept saying cryo sickness real quick and then it went away? Do be careful not cryoing these guys too many times and throwing them out. They will have a cooldown if you cryo them on the same map. So say I just picked him up and threw him out. If I were to throw out another animal, it could come back with cryo sickness because you legitimately will have a little icon where the... Let me show you. Let's see if I can do it. I believe it was down here or over here to the side. And if you hold H when you're in your C, it should tell you there's um, a cooldown for cryo sickness. And if your server doesn't have that disabled, you will throw out the dino and it will be asleep. So just be aware of that. That depends on what cluster and what server and how the settings are. On ours, we have that disabled because, quite frankly, it used to be very, very annoying. Well, that was it for, um, and I don't know why nothing's loading in. There. <laughs> My base is actually here. 
So that was a little tutorial to show you how to get in between clusters and how to take dinos with you and items because as you can see every item that I stuck in my inventory is still here. So yeah, that's all you gotta do is walk up to this, click on what server you want and go to it and have fun. So I hope y'all come join our cluster and maybe you can come play with me. Talk to y'all later.